operating FT-8 from a remote station in Costa Rica. Check this out. Shut up and sit down. Okay, uh, welcome to Ham Radio 2.0. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. If this is your first time to join us, uh, this channel is about reviews and how-tos of everything that's new in amateur radio. So if you like that, and you think you might get value out of this episode or the channel, please consider subscribing and smashing that like button with the thumbs up. All right, so as hopefully most of you know, I uh, traveled to Costa Rica uh, on my third de-expedition at that location, and uh, that video I posted is right here. Link that there for you. And uh, and we did something kind of crazy, and I purchased, purchased. I did not give this for free because there there was some contention on that over our soda expedition. Uh, people think I got it for free, and I didn't. Um, I purchased a new Flex 6400 radio with an internal tuner, and I took it to Costa Rica. And we set it up, and I used it the whole time I was there with my Maestro and also with my smart SDR software um, on my Microsoft Surface laptop, tablet laptop. And after, at the end of the week, we spent a week there. We were there from Tuesday to Tuesday. And on Sunday night, I think it was, maybe Monday. No, it was Monday afternoon, I think. Um, we moved the radio to a secured location and put up a 20-meter dipole on top of the secured location that was kind of hung in a sloper-like fashion, like this. Like the, the center is here, the top is here, the bottom is here. 20-meter dipole pointed north from Costa Rica, so basically it's pointed towards the United States. Of course, it radiates this way, um, east and west, but, um, but since it's in a... It, well, it, you know how a dipole radiates. It's a sloper pointed towards uh, North America, but been working a lot of stations off of from Europe and, and Asia as well, so be that as it may. So we left it there and set up a brand new Smart Link, S, uh, Smart Link account with Flex Radio, um, gave it to the two or three other guys that were there with me, two, guys, two other guys that were there with me. Um, one of them owned a Flex. Uh, one of them owned an iPad <laughs> and downloaded the Flex Radio app for the iPad. And all three of us have been logging into that Flex Radio from our home QTHs in North Texas, working FT8 from the antenna, the Flex Radio and antenna in Costa Rica. And that's fun. That is fun. So I'm operating as Tango India 7 stroke KC5 HWB. And um, I've actually got it here for you today. So if I go here, you can see this is running. Yeah, just like that. And it's actually in the middle of a transmission right now with uh, November Uniform 8 mic. And here's the Smart SDR software. It's on 14.074. Pretty good SWR right there. You can see it's transmitting. I turned the power down on uh, to about 80 watts because we were getting some stuff with the uh, with the radio just rebooting itself at random. I think it's a power supply issue, and I don't think it's the power supply necessarily as much as it is the um, extension cord, uh, the power cable that's running to the power supply. The connection between the radio and the power supply itself is solid, and the power supply is a brand new Elenco DM430 power supply, so it's pretty solid too. But uh, but you can see right there. When it transmits, it's uh, it's going up to about 80 watts, and it's it's a pretty good SWR there. So I take it down here, and it looks like this connection's gone stale. Sometimes J WSJTX just goes stale. Like, it'll keep calling and calling and calling, and I'll be like, why is no one answering me? And I'll close the program and relaunch it, and all of these stations will come in who've been calling me, but I hadn't seen them before. I don't know why that is. Uh, this is version 2.1.0, which if there's a new version out there, I just downloaded this, like, Three weeks ago. There's a new version out there. I haven't seen it yet. So, oh, there's a CT station right there. So this N N N NU8M guy hasn't replied to me since here. So let's uh, halt transmission and go to CT3HF. 
So we're going to try that and see if that works. So the cool thing about it is that um, uh, it's a totally different, since, it's, since Costa Rica is closer to the equator than Texas is, or the United States is, it's a totally different set of propagation down there. Whole new set of set of uh, uh, HF propagation. The the one regret that I have now this this was kind of an experiment to see if it would work. I kind of figured that I would spend the money, see if it would work. If it didn't work, I'd bring the radio home and I'd sell it. End of story, you know. But it is working. We've made a lot of contacts on FT8 from this remote location in Costa Rica, and now. <laughs> Now I've got about three other locations I'm looking at outside of the United States to deploy flex radios. So some of you know that I've been deploying repeaters, DMR repeaters, around the state of Texas for a while. Maybe my new challenge will be to deploy a flex radio, multiple flex radios all over the world. What uh, One thing, before you go on and say, well, gosh, Jason, how much, how much is that going to cost? Well, a lot. <laughs> but here's the thing. The guys down in Costa Rica that went with me, once I showed them how this worked and how easy it was and how how well it worked, uh, they've, they've offered to split the cost with me. So, you know, I don't have to float the bill myself. Uh, so we're, we're still waiting for Charlie Tango 3 Hotel Foxtrot to reply. He called me two, three, four times before I went back to him. And, well, it looks like he's, he's working an HK3 station right now. So I'm going to let that go. I tell you what, 20 meters is alive and well um, in the morning time in Costa Rica. Like as soon, there he is right there. There's the, there's the contact right there. Charlie Tango 3 Hotel Foxtrot, FT8 20 meter. Um, report sent was a plus 2 and report received was a plus 5. Uh, Charlie Tango 3 Hotel Foxtrot, I think that's Columbia. Let me see. I've been, if nothing else, I sure have been learning my uh, prefixes much more accurately. No, that's Madeira Island. I don't even know who that is. Hmm. I think Columbia starts with a C. Uh, Charlie call sign also, if I remember correctly. Anyway, if nothing else, I've been learning my prefixes. Um, a lot better because I've been working all these weird prefixes. I say weird. Outside of the USA, DX pre prefixes. A lot of DX prefixes. This morning I got um, Aruba. Papa 41 Tango? Papa 41 Charlie? It's in my logbook. I can look it up, obviously. So now I'm going to go. So my CQ is Tango India 7-stroke KC5 HWB. I'm going to enable transmit. And when it comes up again... So my one regret, I started to say a minute ago, my one regret about our setup down there is this basically we're limited to 20 meters. Um, we could tune, it, the, the, the radio has an internal tuner, and that's great if you're using like a, 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 a slope, a, a, um, I'm sorry, an off-center fed dipole in a sloper configuration or a, or a center, an in-fed dipole, an in-fed dipole really, or maybe a... Um, I just lost the term. The term's in my head. A center-fed dipole with a ladder line. There's a term for it. Um, so if, uh, if you're using something like that, then a tuner is more relevant. This one's just a regular center-fed with coax, 20-meter dipole. It was a homebrew antenna built by one of the guys that went down there with us. And, and it works wonderfully on 20 meters. But we can't really get it to, to tune to 10 and, and 15, or especially not 40. If you, if you go over there and listen, you'll be able to hear some stuff. But... Half the time it doesn't tune, and when it does tune, it squelches the, the RF power down so much that, eh, it doesn't really work that well. Okay, KG5OHO is coming back to me now. There we go. Step number four. So when we go back, probably next spring, you know, the Flex 6400 has two antenna ports that will both uh, receive and transmit. So you can open up Slice B, and you can change it to Antenna 2, and you can have one guy work in, uh, well, actually, yeah, you can, yeah, you you probably still do it on slice A, but you can have one guy working on antenna one, one guy working on antenna two, as long as you're on the same band. But uh, there it is right there. So to the United States, my report sent was a zero. 
which is basically a 5.9. And my report received from him was a negative 8. So I was, uh, so I was getting a 5.9 on him, and I sent him probably like a 5.5, something like that. Uh, zero is pretty much even ground for FT8. Go more into FT8 later. I'm just learning about FT8. A lot of you watching this probably know a lot more about FT8 than I do. Let's go back to... Nope. Uh, I hate that when it does that. There we go. Let's go back to Whiskey Zero Papa Echo, Papa Echo Charlie uh, and work him for a minute. So, <laughs> so the... Um, so we're limited to 20 meters. And of course, at nighttime, around 5 or 5.30 in the evening when the sun goes down in Costa Rica, Costa Rica is on Central Standard Time and they, didn't, they do not observe daylight savings time. So when we were there in October, um, Texas was actually an hour ahead of, yep, yeah, yeah, that's right, an hour ahead of Costa Rica. So Costa Rica was on UTC minus 6 and Texas was actually on UTC minus 5 for daylight savings time. Texas is now back on UTC minus 6, the way it normally is for non-daylight savings time. So it, the times in Texas and Costa Rica are the same right now, which makes it convenient. But the sun always came up when we were there that week we were in Costa Rica. The sun would always come up about 5.15 in the morning. And, um, and as soon as that sun's up, man, 20 meters is alive. It's alive there. So I woke up a couple of mornings last week and grabbed my, um, my tablet and logged into my, I'm actually logged into this computer that you're looking at right here is actually my desktop that's hard-lined into my, into my network um, and connected via the SmartLink account. So I'm kind of making a, a double hop there. But I, I woke up in the morning and grabbed my tablet and connected to my desktop and connected to Costa Rica, and I was here in all kinds of DX stations outside of the United States. So that was really fun to do. I've done that a few times. Um, but, again, limited to 20 meters, so when we go back down there, we're probably going to keep the 20 meters set up, because 20 meters is probably the most active HF band. Um, yeah, it's debatable. But, uh, but we want to get a setup where we can work at night, because we can't work at night now. Uh, 20 meters dies when the sun goes down in Costa Rica, and you can, sit, you can watch the waterfall, and there's nothing. Nothing on 14.074, nothing anywhere else in the band. Um, but it... Um, you can go over to 40 and listen, at least. Um, so I need to get something to work, like 40 meters, maybe 80 meters. We'll see. We'll see what we can set up when we're down there. Maybe a sloper configuration of an in-fed dipole. Um, something. I don't know yet. Um, we're working on plans to even maybe, maybe put up a tower and some sort of beam that we can rotate. So more to come on that later. But very fun stuff. Working FT8 from Costa Rica. Um, via remote connection, smart SDR, flex radio with a smart link account. So you're going to see, I kind of wanted to do a video about how to set up a smart, I did a video on how to set up a smart link account, but I wanted to do a video about how to install smart SDR on your computer and configure it to work with WSJTX. And I'm going to do that upcoming, but this is so exciting. I wanted to get this out first. So it's kind of in a reverse order, but uh, let me know in the comments below if you have worked me. Look out there for Tango India 7-stroke KC5HWB. I also recently installed an app called um, Hamalert. Looks kind of like that. And um, kind of washed out the screen there. But, I, but I, I, it's, it's just, you can put in specific call signs, and Hamalert will tell you when that call sign's on the air, what mode they're on, what band they're on, all that kind of stuff. So I watch myself so that I can see when other people are spotting me. But I have several other, yeah, like I watched everybody in the, uh, who was with us in Costa Rica. I watch all their call signs. We went on the soda activation last weekend in Mount Pacifico. I added all those call signs to my ham alert. So now I've got a bunch of people in there. So <laughs> let me know if you work me on FT8 from Costa Rica as a Tango India 7 station. Put your comments in the YouTube video below. And thanks for watching.